Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Beautiful day today. It took a little while to get the full sunshine. Finally got it. A mix of 60s here along the coast. Some spots inland, though, did get to the 70 degree mark. Most of those were down in the Salinas Valley. Gilroy at 69, San Jose at 66. So pretty nice afternoon. Uh, you'll notice the trend here. 60s along the coast, mostly 70s in the Central Valley. We got a 48 in Tahoe. There was some cold air actually working into the Sierra. 75 in Vegas and 78 in Palm Springs. So, you know, spring could go either way. It could look more winter-like or more summer-like. And this is more at least somewhat summer-like in terms of the cooler conditions of the coast, a little warmer in the Central Valley. Of course, if it was summer, those numbers would have eights and nines in front of them. Look at the interior part of the U.S. right now. Wow, uh, definitely cold. 22 in Denver, 27 in Billings, 23 in Bismarck. So there's cold air working down from Canada right now. And that was part of the equation to get the big showers and thunderstorms firing up over the south yesterday. You can see the difference. 48 in Memphis right now. They were in the 70s yesterday, right? And uh, with those higher temperatures, there's higher humidity too. You get that clash of the air masses this time of year. And unfortunately, there's that big front that came through the southeast spawning tornadoes, which were deadly. That's pushed off the east coast right now. The last of it up in New England and uh, some snow showers trying to break out over the Rockies. But most of that is pretty light. Looking at home now, you can see this patch. This is drier air working in on the water vapor imagery. So this drier, cooler air mass is working down, and that was helping to erode the low clouds this afternoon. You can kind of see that trend is working from north to south. Unfortunately, they kind of got hung up right over us, uh, so it took a while, and the low clouds are still out there, which means they'll probably form up a little bit later tonight, but I do not affect, uh, expect the kind of marine layer we had over the last couple of days, which was really deep and hard to get rid of. In a lot of cases, we didn't get much, if any, sun on Sunday. We even had some drizzle that measured tip the bucket there in spots along the coast. So future cast showing maybe some patches lingering through the night. Uh, by tomorrow morning, we're going to say mostly clear, although I wouldn't be surprised to see a few patches of fog maybe uh, right along the coast. But by early afternoon or really late morning, we should be crystal clear. We have a little offshore flow in the morning. That helps. Then the sea breeze comes on later in the day. That's your northwesterly wind at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. But it should be warmer in all cases. Most of the warming, though, will be inland away from the bay, but we will see at least some warming at the coast. Upper and middle 40s for overnight lows tonight, chilly temperatures, and we'll keep those patches of bay fog around. 48 Monterey, 45 Santa Cruz, 45 Watsonville, some low to mid 40s, Gilroy Hollister, so those are your colder spots. Mid 40s Santa Cruz Mountains and a 50 in San Francisco. For tomorrow, looking really nice. Upper 60s to upper 70s, a spring-like afternoon with temperatures in some cases going above average for this time of year. We'll call that mild to warm. And here are the temps for tomorrow afternoon. 70 Wattsville, 71 Salinas, upper 60s around Monterey, Seaside, PG, low 70s, Santa Cruz, Capitola, mid 70s, Ben Lomond, Boulder Creek, Bonnie Dune. And there your upper 70s, middle 70s, San Jose, Gilroy, Hollister, 76, 77. And we'll follow that with Soledad and King City also with those middle and upper 70s. By Wednesday, some of those spots could get closer to 80. So there you go tomorrow, pretty much all sunshine. Wednesday, about the same, mostly sunny, upper 60s to almost 80. Again, that's going to be in a few select spots, but a lot of 70s going. Thursday, we're starting to cool off. We've got clouds. There's a couple of weak disturbances, the best way to put it. A slight chance of maybe a shower on Friday, highs back into the 60s. And then we have a mix of sun and clouds on Saturday and then another slight chance on Sunday and Monday of next week. Uh, so spring is like that. We get weak systems passing through. We get uh, the upside of temperatures and then we slide back a little bit. And that's the ebb and flow of it all. Mid 40s to around 50 with some slight rain chances on a couple of the evenings. Okay. Yeah.